Welcome back everybody and yeah, it's me. It's been a long time since I've made one of these, but I'm happy to be back. You may have noticed that the scenery has changed. I'm in my parents' basement now. Oh yeah, I'm moving up in this world. But today I finally got some inspiration and I wanted to make a build for you. So today I'm gonna show off a new ship I built in Space Engineers cause all my old ships are gone. I don't know how, maybe an update in Space Engineers got rid of it, but nothing was uploaded to the cloud, because as you know, I never upload any of my chips. So let's just jump in, shall we? So here it is, the Chonk Seal Pup is what I'm naming it right now, and uh, that's all I got. Now what makes this ship different from everything else I've ever built is we have this special little gadget on the bottom of the ship. It's actually where its weapons are mounted. and Hopefully this adds a new element to fighter combat if you decide to use this in your build. So let me let me go ahead and show you. So as you can see on the bottom of the ship, the turret or gun mount is kind of on an angle and you're probably wondering like, well, how is that advantageous to any combat in any situation? Well, it's actually a custom turret with only a rotor. There's no hinges, so it doesn't have elevation. You control that as the ship. Now, in theory, this element of the ship is allows you to aim at a target much much easier now if you had um, a hinge on it you obviously have that elevation but this turret the way I've designed it just allows you to get that extra bit of aim when you're in a dogfight situation it's hard to explain but let me kind of just break it down a little bit and then show you just an example of what it's like kind of to shoot something so here we are we're on the bottom of the ship and if you notice that the turret is on an angle it has a camera has a gatling gun and if we look up in here you'll notice that there is a hinge now this turret can only move slightly to the left and slightly to the right it can't actually do a full 360 and i've built that purposefully using this um offset block it kind of just sits in the middle and that prevents the turret from continuing to turn all the way around uh, and why i do this is because i want this gun for this ship to be focused forward facing right uh, it's a fighter so if i needed to i could fly forward and spin around really quick and now my gun is facing my opponent as the title suggests this is a gimbal turret so it's supposed to like have a slight maneuverability on the front so when setting up the turret i actually don't set up the ai to use the weapons all the weapons are all controlled by me clicking it so right now i'm clicking the turret i'm shooting that i also have a missile pod because uh, i just thought that would be a cool little addition and for missiles you don't really need to target anything you know um ideally this is a strike fighter so i would fly in if there was a large ship I would just use my missiles to shoot it down, fly away, switch to my Gatling turrets, and target any enemy fighters. Alright, so we have just a, an exact copy of our ship pasted right in front of us, as you can see right there. Now look, pay attention closely to those red dots, right? My ship is kind of on an angle, and yet it's still pointing, so if we look down at our turret and I move to the left, that gun is still facing on that fighter over there. So in theory, if this, if we were in a dogfight and you know, it's zipping around, it's moving every which way, this turret, as long as I'm in this kind of plane, I should be able to still shoot this ship. So if I go ahead, start shooting now. So obviously it's pointing at the ship, but because my nose isn't actually looking at the ship, I'm going to miss. I'm going to shoot right above it. See, doesn't, has no way of hitting it, but if I look down use those lasers kind of a gu as a guide I can hit the ship and that's pretty direct fire so then if I look over here you'll notice that I can still hit the ship which is pretty cool look over here I can still hit that ship so again if I'm flying around I'm looking at my target we're moving we're moving it's hard to get that like actual center aim but how I fly the only thing I'm worried about is my left and right direction. You know, it's hard to like whip around that way. So as long as I keep my up and down this part of my crosshair on my target, I should be able to hit my enemy. And again, I'm doing, it's pretty good. It's very satisfying. It's very satisfying to not really have to worry about the aim. Although it is pretty slow to get a good shot. 
it's nice to know that I've got like a guaranteed shot. So if anyone wants to know how to build this, let's just go ahead and get into our custom turret. Now on this ship, it's very simple. All we need is a rotor, a camera, and you don't even have to select the gun. So you don't even have to hook up the guns. This is so simple. This is as simple as it gets. So you're gonna go ahead, go to the azimuth rotor. That's your left and right. And you're gonna add your advanced rotor. Then you're gonna go to your camera. Make sure your camera is facing in the direction. Now, I believe when this first came out, cameras usually just help you target. I don't know if you still need that. Like I think guns technically have a camera on them. Um, but I like to just put that on because there's an option there. I can also use this camera as like a zoom, you know, which is nice. But that's pretty much how you hook up the turret. That's pretty much how you kind of design the turret. It's very simple. Um, again, I could probably add the hinge to it, but my only worry with the hinge is that um, I would have to really make the gun on like the nose of the ship or extend it down because there wouldn't be much of an elevation upwards. Um, because unless the hinge point was like just past the ship and the guns were sticking way out, it would make a little more sense to have that elevation. But maybe even just having a slight elevation down here helps a lot. I don't know. I would have to fool around with it. This is my first time building a gimbal turret. Um, and I think it turned out pretty good. But that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. What the fuck? We have a Discord in the description down below. Join it. It's great. We do little challenges every year, now and again. I'm not very active on it, but I try to be for you, my people. And uh, it's been a long time, so I feel good. I feel good to be back in the scenery. I hope uh, my background isn't uh, strange with my bed and the light glaring in the back. Have a great day. Stay chunk. Love you all.